That's me. What? What the fuck? There is nothing wrong with Ivy. I'm the psycho. How did you turn like that? <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. Still have 10 pounds on me. This is great. It's very old. This is all wrong. Ivy always slept on my left side. Sleep with your sneakers on, man? Single beds. No, that's not quote unquote alright. We've been together for nearly 10 years. That's a long time for two people to be so close. What? No, not now. Breakfast. Pancakes with Nutella. Let's go. Hey, lady. Breakfast. Okay, fuck it then. Let's go get some breakfast, shall we? Okay then! Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? What? What, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Uh, Mr. Davis, such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. Where the fuck is my wife? Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. Where? Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note. A letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? Well, who is that? Or, no, I'm still mad, I'm still confused. The fuck is all this? What the fuck is this? It's just a dining room. Breakfast service, as usual. You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. So they come to Quiet Haven to die. So who is that Sophie? Is she the lady in 101? 102? Who is that Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. Oh no. And who are you in all of this? Who are you? What a personal question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine on some other occasion. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. Shit. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us, please. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. It's called take a seat. And my appetite for breakfast is no longer there. I don't care about breakfast well that's not good they say it's the most important to me of the day this is madness i've got to go i'll find my wife and we're leaving i was afraid you'd say that but fine i won't stand in your way 
as a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Mm. I don't like this. Well. Okay. Am I already dead, zombie cat? You little shit. Hey, no, not here. So why did you do that? Probably had to happen, but damn it. I could just knock on the door, right? And that would be just as nice. Yo, wife, you let me in, please. Knock. Can't even knock. Think. Why won't you be logical about this, Joe? Think about it. You're chasing fucking cats. Let's see you. Okay. Wait. This is. This is fucking new. Listen, kitty. Hmm? Wait, what? Oh my god. Mirrors. Which way now? Well. I think it's pretty fucking clear which way I have to go. What is... What is that? What... What is... What is going on here? Okay, so let's try this one, shall we? I guess that was the wrong one. Is it time for a jump scare? That was indeed the wrong one. Guess I'm shit fuck out of luck. Stairs. How did this happen? Still won't budge. I thought the damn cat went into the kitchen. Let's double check. Okay. I'm leaving. Wifey, if you want to hang out with Sophia, it's okay. This thing we had, it's over. It's no longer us. Kitchen door. Still locked. Okay. Alright, so. We have exhausted a couple of options. I feel better now. Okay, so. If I were to go back here. Is there something I missed? Oh! Okay, I can interact with you guys again. So, let's try this door. That didn't work. How about door number three? Door number three. Come on. Got it. Is there someone behind me? I swear to God. Hello? Shit! It's me! What the fuck is going on here? Wait... Cat. Oh, did you see that? 
That's the teacup place, right? No, that's... Jack's place? And that's... That says Helen Road inverted. What? And I can't go any further, okay. Still the same line. Still the same line. This should be open. But there is a killer on the loose here. There you are. Am I the cat? This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. Is this what I saw? My other self saw an axe wielding Joe Davis and this one sees a cat? Is that what it is? Right. So. You need to be better than this, Joe. Okay, good. So, can I use the fucking cat clock? Not here. Could you please, you fucking bastard? No, not here. No, not here. Okay. Ah, uh, open. Am I gonna force it inside? Are you actually gonna do that, bro? You could easily catch it if you wanted to, right? Okay. Cat clock. What the fuck kind of morbid shit are you planning, Joe? Ah! Fuck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck! What is going on? You fucking idiot! Let's try this. I've got it. No, you've actually fucking lost it, mate. Right. Oh. Right, of course. Why not? What? How did I... Hmm. You're starting to lose it, Joe. Wait, how the fuck did she get up to the attic? She said she had an office there. Listen. That's neither here nor there. This is highly rude of me, but... Ah, okay. Shit! Hello? How long have you been in here? Are you gonna scream at me? Girl! Why is she wearing a mask? Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? Where's my wife? Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away, so you couldn't find her. This but is... why? Why would she have to hide from me? 
she found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. This is the same room in the cat lady where she was screaming misery. Listen. There is something going on here. And you have to tell me. You, you, not you will, but you have to. Please. There's something wrong going on here. And you will tell me what it is. Oh, there's plenty wrong here, Joe. I don't know where to start. From the beginning. And I'm not sure if you're ready for it yet. So what is this place, man? Why, why all the mirrors? What is this place? Why all the... Mirrors. <laughs> That's not a fucking answer, woman. This is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. I think it's you're the place that's mad. I think you're the craziest of all. Did you say a monster, by the way? Did you say a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. Describe it's it been to me. Looking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then, then there is no going back. You fall and keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. I think I've seen enough. I need to get my wife and get the fuck out of here. No. I've seen enough already. Hmm. Do you think you can run away from it? <laughs> no, Joe. You'll see the real monster soon enough. It doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. I'll do anything to save Ivy. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. It's very... simple, But really. wait. You just have to kill me. Listen. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. Do it yourself. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. What? We kill memories all the time. Wait. What is going on here? I... What do, you, what do you mean you're a memory? What do you mean you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. Who is Sophie? There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one. That's still not broken. But, how do I know if you're telling the truth? You don't. Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I can't believe you just said that. I'd already told you. This is the madness, Joe. So this memory is the madness. What are the rest? Listen. How, how how should I? This is so fucking messed up, this dude. Is so messed up. It's very simple. Kill four memories. But wait. Me first. What are these memories about? Wait. In the first game, Joe asks Susan to kill. Kill the lady in this room. He couldn't do it, for whatever reason. I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? 
<laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? That that was that wasn't a cat. That that was just a memory, right? Uh, he killed me first. I didn't kill the cat. It was that creep with an axe. Ah, <sighs> the sweet denial. You don't understand what happened. I I didn't mean to burn it. Yes, you but did. What else could you have done to get that key? Wait for that poor animal to shit it out? No. We both know the truth, Joe. You are not a patient man. You knew from the start that this kitty had to fry. Now be a man and admit it. That's not true. And then kill, kill me. me. That's not true! I can't... How should I kill you? How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? what? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. Listen. It won't hurt that way. I... I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. Zelman? All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? What? Just before things went to shit. Tell me more about that. And that's why I have to die first. I'll have to, I'll have to, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. I swear, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? Interesting. It was a very elaborate but accident, okay? Never mind. What happened happened, Joe. True. Why should you explain yourself to me? Listen, I'll, I'll have to think about that, okay? I'll think about it. Oh, I know you will. Hmm. What is that black tint? Why is the screen fading to black sometimes? Is that because of my decisions? It's not- I don't feel like I have much- my choice here. Listen. You got me wrong. That's the phone. You got me wrong, okay? And the cat lady, I waited for my wife for a month while she was doing him makeup, okay? I sent Susan in to get her or check up on her. I'm a very patient man. And we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to pick up the phone in the next episode, man. Until then, this has been your boy Colorway Gaming. I'm outta here. Love y'all and deuces.